What's going on everyone? Today is day 13 of the $500,000 challenge. Of course, as I start, the lawnmower starts too. Uh, I had an amazing, uh, a really, really great coffee meeting this morning with someone who reached out because of these videos. It's a young guy looking to get into real estate and I have no doubt that he's gonna do big things. Um, I mean, just, you can tell when you meet somebody, you know, if they're gonna do something or if they're, you know, gonna be analysis paralysis the entire time and never take the step. Um, but he did in actually in, in more than one ways. I feel like I'm getting out of my comfort zone with these videos. And he mentioned that he was a little uncomfortable reaching out, but he did. And, you know, I could see us being partners down the line. Like, I really think he's gonna do big things and that we will end up partnering on a deal at some point in the, in the future. Um, it may not, maybe a few months, it may be tomorrow, it may be a few years, but I'm gonna continue to reach out to him um, as I'm sure he will to me. And you know, there's no telling what, uh, what kind of production that uh, meeting up with somebody and meeting somebody like that could, could have. So today I'm, I'm kind of talking about partnerships and partnerships are absolutely amazing. You know, no one's going to go out and do the legwork for you. I mean, at the end of the day, if you want a deal and you want to enter into a partnership with somebody who's doing deals like that, you're going to have to find the deal. Um, and that's when you're getting started, there's really no way around that. Like you've got to be the one to find it and you need to be going out into all these networking event, networking events and you need to be taking people out to lunch and you need to know, okay, if I find a single family home in this area, I'm taking it to this person. If I find an apartment building in this area, I'm taking it to this person. Because partners, like you don't, you don't have to know everything. Like if you find something, you know how to contract it, you know how to talk to sellers, partners can take you the rest of the way and they can show you every step of what they do so that the next time you could take a deal down yourself. However, you know, a lot of times, when, you know, if you provide value in every single way that you can, you know, and not just the, the big stuff, but just running across town to pick up a check or to go meet a tenant or to meet a handyman there late at night. Like if you're always in that partnership, if you're always being super eager to add value any way you can, again, even the small stuff, like the small stuff, a lot of times matters the most because if you're getting into real estate and you're partnered with a much more experienced real estate investor, they don't want to drive across town to pick up a check. So you being willing to do the small items like that that's gonna stick. Like that partner is gonna remember it, and if they have a deal that kind of fits that mold again, you know they're gonna reach out more than likely. Um, so always be trying to provide value. It's the right partnership. You know, it's like if one person is 100% productivity, and two, the right two, the right partnership can be drastically more. Like uh, my partnership with Ryan and Sam, you know, one plus one plus one does not equal three for us. I mean, I would argue that we get the same amount of work done as 10 people um, just because it clicks. We're the right partnership. We all add value in different ways and uh, are constantly trying to help each other. So, you know, always, always remember that. Like one plus one does not equal two in the right partnership um, and can provide a level of productivity that you can never reach by, by yourself. Um, and also it mitigates risk. You're not the only one looking at deals um, and you will miss stuff. Like it, there's, there's no way around it. You're gonna look at a deal and you're gonna miss something that your partner catches. Um, so always remember that. But yeah, so be going to the, uh, the real estate meetups, taking people out to lunch, come prepared, come with a notebook, buy the lunch and uh, you know, come with questions prepared, get people lined up, know who you're gonna reach out to and then start marketing and you'll be surprised with how many you know fruitful partnerships you're able to form thank you everyone for watching and i'll be back tomorrow